high risk non massive invasive blood and cancer encompass a number of lesions whose common denominator is the high risk of progression to muscle invasive disease. QR is potentially the most critical step affecting the prognosis of the disease. Unfortunately, residual disease and upstaging to muscle invasive tumor represent quite common findings at second look QR. Even if free QR is recommended by the EAU guidelines, several issues make this recommendation at least debatable. The benefit of immediate re QR may be different according to the presence or absence of the trusor muscle in the primary QR specimen. Moreover, the potential benefits of re QR should be carefully weighted, taking into account the healthcare burden of the procedure and its side effects. The aim of the study is to determine if a re QR in the presence or not of muscle at first QR in T1G3 blood cancers make a difference in the prognosis of this subgroup of patients. This is a multi-center retrospective analysis of more than 2,000 T1G3 patients, 38% at the re QR. As shown by the table, Patients were divided into four groups according to the presence or not of muscle at first UR. When it had been performed, reach UR at the goal to avoid the presence of residual tumor and the risk of substaging. Persistent disease at reach UR was documented in 86% of patients in the absence of muscle in primary QR as compared to 65% where muscle had been reported in primary specimen. RE-QR had the positive impact on recurrence, progression, cancer-specific survival and overall survival only where muscle was not present in the primary specimen. RE-QR in the presence of muscle in the primary specimen did not improve the outcome for any of the analyzed endpoints.